Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS. And today, I'm going to attempt to make a six-track EP using only six notes using field scare, field, space fields, space fields, that's what I'm doing. What the hell is going on? Let's kick it off. Let's get, let's recalibrate. This is Glenn Clark and you can't see me. Let's do it. So here we stand. Stare at the world. Chaotic and strange. Beware of the signs. Life is unraveling It's a dangerous game You can't ignore If I can't see you, you can't see me If I can't see you, you can't see me Deny all you want But life has a funny way change so you'd better evolve bury your head black out the media the ignorant bliss of the inflexible brain if I can't see you you can't see me if I can't see can't see me Glenn Clark in the house. That is the final song of this week. Glenn Clark was our featured artist of the week. And that was You Can't See Me. Man, what an incredible artist. Every video he has made is sick. And that one was made in that amount of time it took him to complete that Rubik's Cube. Awesome stuff. His videos are always so inventive. His music is so clever. All the way from New Zealand, it is the amazing Glenn Clark. Round of applause. Round of applause. Shall we do the round of applause? Do I have the round of applause button? Yes. Yes, yes, indeed. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, leave now. Get out. Get out. Out. Get out. Exactly. Hey, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome to the show. My name is Jade. This is How to App on iOS. And... We're going to do something crazy today. <laughs> awesome stuff. All right. Um, what do we do on this show? Every day we look at apps. We look at creating music, videos, all this kind of stuff. Uh, mental health and well-being. Interviews like we do have tomorrow on the show. And every weekend I do a live stream playing some music for you all. That is How to App on iOS. And 
we have a new thing called the Daily Digest, which one will drop today. A brand new Daily Digest. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm hypo. I've had two cups of coffee. I'm going to need it for today. Folks, uh, remember, we have a Facebook page. Thank you, Thomas, for putting it in the uh, chat there. Also, the Patreon, if you want to join up, where each weekend you send me your songs on the Patreon. And guess what? I master them for you. That's the way it works. And we give away some apps. And this week's giveaways on the Patreon, we got five copies, five of Loopy Pro. Man, how good is that stuff? Uh, anything else I need to cover? Oh, yeah. Uh, hit the like now if you like, or hit the like on the way out. Make sure you do it. Russ will be putting links in the chat like he has just there. And if you want to click on them during the show, there's always something weird there. <laughs> I, I, I'm not responsible for the links that Russ puts in there, okay? They're always weird, just like Russ. All right, let's say hello to folks who are here today, and then we'll get into this incredible hopefully not impossible project I'm going to attempt to do today. Okay, where are we? At the top of the list here. Hello to Jim Shannon on Sounds. Hello, I have an idea. I hope you are doing well. Uh, Lurreality. Alamanic. Uh, is that how I say? Alamanic. There you go. That'll do. Uh, hello to Thomas Christ. Hello to Kim Harden Hudson. Hello, Brad Example. Hello, 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 hello. Hello to, who as I scroll down the list of amazing people, Gregory O'Sullivan. Hello to you. Paying to get. David Collette. Just joined the Patreon as well. Thank you very much. Hope to see you on the live stream, David. Thank you very much for joining the Patron. Patron, Patron, Patron. Uh, I, 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 I did say Gregory Sullivan. Uh, I did, yeah. Cool. I'm just talking to myself here. It's all good. It's, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Going crazy. Dean Thomas, hello to you, my friend. Um, Ashley, hey, Jim. Pleasure, as always. Russ, 88, 89, you miserable... Uh... Oh, I have an idea. Super chat. Well, thank you very much. I have an idea. That's very nice of you. I didn't even see that pop up. I'll get to it. I'll, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen in a minute. As I'm scrolling down a list, I didn't even do anything. <laughs> I know what that's for. That's for the jockey's voice, isn't it? Anyway, uh, have I missed anyone? <laughs> I probably have because I'm rambling already. Uh, da, 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 da. I forgot to pay to get. Dean, God, uh, Cy effing good to see you, my friend. Tremor Bear. <laughs> Uh, who else do I see here? If, if I've missed you guys, uh, if I've missed someone, I do apologize. I think I got you all. All right, all right, all right. Good stuff. I think I got you all. Let's go. There's the super chat. Uh, let me scroll up and get that put on the screen because I really should. Where is it? Oh, was it not showing up? I can't put it up. It's not showing up in my um, chat thing. I'll just have to read it from here. Uh, there it is. The Daily Digest with a love heart. All right. <laughs> Are there any price drops? You know what? I haven't even looked today, so it'll be a surprise. It'll be a big surprise. Uh, let's open up some app pages, app pages here. We want to go to this one. AppSlice.co. There it is. Um, wow, we've got some price drops. Waverly Tables down from six ninety nine to five ninety nine. We got to also Waverly XL from six ninety nine to five ninety nine. Boom. Uh, Mella. So both these Mellas are on sale to the end of the month. Mella 1 and 2. Or Mella 0 and 2. Because Mella 3 is out. And hopefully we'll look at that next week. Um, but they're free. Go get them quick. They're worth like... Look at that. They're worth like $24 altogether. Quick. Get it. Get it. Hurry. I'll wait for you. Quick. I'll wait with Peppy. Peppy, what are you doing? <laughs> that wasn't a joke, Peppy. Alrighty. Cool. Uh, so, not much has changed down below. Skip that. We've got a lot of work to do today. Hokie dokie. What I'm going to try and do today, I'm going to try and make an EP. Get all the songs done within the next <laughs> within the next 50 minutes. Okay, because I know Thomas Christ is up directly after this show today with You Rock. And he'll be playing all of your music for the next, I don't know, 15 hours. I think that's how long Thomas's go show goes for now. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
So what I'm going to do is try and create an EP, six tracks using six notes, using this amazing app called Space Fields, which I've already done a show on. It's a really, really cool app. Um, Igor, the, the, the maniac Igor, uh, Vasiliev, who, who just uh, creates these amazing apps. And I'm just going to use uh, for this one note for each song and one preset. And that will be the whole song. Yes, this will be a soundscape album. The artwork is already done for it. I have completed the artwork in my spare time. There is the album artwork. The album is called... Get a bit of Get a bit of E-A-D-G-B-E. Uh, -E, all of the strings. And you can see they are aligned along the strings of a guitar floating into the sunset. So that is the concept. Each uh, song will be a... <laughs> a note, an E, an A, a D, a G, a B, and an E across six different instruments. So, shall we jump in? Let me have a vape. Let me have a drink of my coffee out of my no MS coffee cup today. Like I need any more coffee. And what's really cool today also is I am wearing my Russ 8088, 8088, 8089 new Moonworks t-shirt, which he kindly sent me. Awesome stuff. Boom. Alrighty, let's jump in. We are going to do this uh, using AUM. So this is the first time I've ever recorded an album in AUM. And what am I using to record this? So I basically have four tracks here. I, I could have six, but I don't want to blow out my DSP. It's already really high. I am sending these all to the final track, the fifth track, which has a copy of Neon in it. And I'll just be recording whatever I, whatever sounds it makes straight into Neon. Each song will be roughly between two and a half minutes to three minutes. That is the plan. Yeah. So whatever it makes is the song. And then I'll just take those out and master it. And that's it. That's all I'm doing. It's going to be the easiest album EP ever recorded. Whatever happens, happens. Total random, all right? Because uh, uh, the last thing I did took seven episodes and four weeks to do. And I don't want to spend that much time making a soundscape album. And why do I need to? Because this app is so cool. All right. So firstly, we have to click on Neon over here. We want to set this up to record. Go full screen so you can see what's going on. I've done a show on Neon by Four Pockets. If you haven't seen it before, we're going to sync this up. So this is now sunk to AUM. We have our record button and now it's armed and ready to go. So whenever I hit a note, it's going to start recording. All right. So we can make that small again. We can pop that down here. That's just so we have a little monitor of what's happening. We can shrink that if we want. Pop it over there. The first instrument... I'll, actually, I'll just unrecord that. The first instrument I'll be using will be Strummer by Four Pockets because I don't want to grab uh, my acoustic guitar out, but I will be using a real guitar. Uh, so, and this is what it sounds like. So it's got some nice delay on it. This is the delay that is within the app. There you go. So I'm using my Arturia Keystep 37 today. Beautiful. Let me just pull down the volume of that. Okay, so that is what we're using here. The first, let's bring in uh, space fields. I'm using the preset, what is it called? Neutrino scanner. Okay, that is the preset we're using. And the way this works is, as soon as this is connected and I play a bunch of notes, it starts recording them and we're off. And then once it... Uh, re it records them. I'll show you just a quick example. So I'm going to do, um, we'll just take this out of the equation. How I'm going to do this is three of the same note for each song. For example, the first song is E. So it will be this. <laughs> uh, we've got enough keys here. So it will be three E's like that for each song. Let's take it down an octave. 
I can't go down any further. Damn. Sweet. That'll do. <laughs> right. Okie doke. So let's set this to record and let's start our first song. We want to start the playhead running up the top here for AUM. So it's playing and then we are going to hit our first three notes. And whatever happens, happens. Awesome. Now we're letting these run for 90 seconds. So three minutes each. Up to 71 seconds. Let's just let it go to a hundred. So we've got a bit of overflow. There it is. There's our first track. We'll let that fade out. Now we'll delete this track. We don't need it anymore. Goodbye. Goodbye to you. Forever gone. Forever gone. I want to be... So here's our track. Let's uh, zoom. There it is, all there. Fancy Pantsy. And you'll see at the beginning, the first few notes that I played are there at the beginning. And I can just top and tail those and get rid of those. But now we need to save this first track in here. And we are going to jump over to our media bay here in uh, Neon. And we're going to hit save down here. And we shall call this... Uh, here's, check this out. Cool shortcut here. If I just do the letter U and 10... It pops up with utensils down there because this is a utensils album click that utensils and we'll call this e save that track is now saved ready to go uh, and add some effects to it compression master it whatever we're going to do we'll stop that playing up there now we need to go up the top here and clear this out because we've saved it new recording stereo recording 
boom, bada, bing, bada, bang, and we're ready to go for the next track. Let's have a look. We are using pure piano for the next track. And what is it? A. We are doing A. A, 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 A. Should we do it a bit higher? Hmm, maybe. All right, so let's see what we're doing with this. So I'm using the Orion Star system for this one, this particular one. Let's see what it sounds. Uh, do we need to see what it sounds like? I don't think so. I think it's set to go. Um, I think we'll just risk it, shall we? So we've got our door here ready to go. We need to sync it, put it down here, sync it, hit record. I love the randomness. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So everything's set. Hit play up here and let's go. This is A. <laughs> uh, hang on, did I do the right thing? No, that's D. <laughs> C, D, E, G, A. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> I'm, having a ment I'm having a mental breakdown. Um, where are we up to? Uh, e... C, D, E, F, G, A. I was on the right note. <laughs> Work it out. Alrighty. Welcome to A. fact what I'm going to do here uh, just going to stop this for a reason for a reason let's just stop that and um, clear that out because my volume was way too low so let's uh, just start a new recording this happens it's all good all right we're set for a new recording just had to get the volume up a bit louder sync record Hit play. Let's try that again, shall we? Shall we? Let's do it. Oops. Stop. I, uh, I, I, I uh, accidentally hit the key again. That happens. It's all good. We're good. <laughs> Record. One more time. Let's make sure this is set here. We'll clear that out. Yeah, it's only because I, I bumped the key one more time. There we go. We are off. Hello, Panda Cat. So this is track two off the new album. Utter soundscape made with one note. So one note, two octaves. Using pure piano. Space fields recording directly into neon. For those of you who joined late, we're recording hundreds, uh, what is it? Uh, 100 seconds of this, and then we take it out, and I'll decide how long it goes and master it. And these will be the songs. Whatever happens, happens. The most random album of all time. One take. It 
just reminds me of being stuck on a ship out of Aliens. Yes, this is pure piano running through space fields. Absolutely, David, I will do. Once this is uh, out of here, Yes, uh, you need an audio source. So you can use a sample, you can use your vocals, you can use a guitar, an instrument plugged in, you can use an AUV3, you can use an external MIDI, uh, a synth, you can use anything, anything you like. And what it does, if you go back and watch the, uh, the uh, Space Fields video, it takes the sound and loops it and puts it through three uh, programs and then loops them all back and just continues to loop them through and pitch shift and do a whole lot of magical stuff. Right, we're 80 seconds in. Man, there's some real creepy stuff in this one. Five seconds. Kind of got that Halloween ch -ch 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 thing going on. All right, that'll do. Let's clear that. We are finished. So we'll open this. Here is our file which I will fade out at the end kind of thing. So let's go to our media bay. We need to save this and clear it and do utensils with a dash. And this is song A, E, A, D, G, B, E. And we need to create a brand new recording in stereo. We are set to go with Neon for the next track. Let me just close it out and I'll show you the routing. So what I have done here, down the bottom here, you can route stuff through to this final track. So you'll see how it says A. When I click on this, um, I've, I've set this to send this to A. This track also has been chosen to send A, and I'll show you on this one. When I click on it, I have mix bus down here, and I can choose to send a mix bus A. So all three of these are sending to A, and in this final channel, this is receiving A. Yeah, so that's where it's all going. All three tracks are going to the here, and then I have, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I have Neon connected as an effect to record anything that comes through this channel from these three. That is it. Pretty simple chain, yeah? All good. So, and yeah, I have my keyboards connected as well. So you can see my Arturia keyboard is connected to iSymphonic and Pure Piano to play. So pretty simple stuff. Let's get rid of this track now. We don't need it. You can go away. Goodbye to you, kind sir. Thank you. Um, yes, <laughs> Dave loves receiving A. I guess. <laughs> What are we up to? Uh, A E D. We're up to D now, and we're using, we are using this. <laughs> we are using um, I Symphonic. That's really loud. I can turn that down there. That is our D for this one. And I am using the effect on this called Proxima Orion B. All right, so let's get this ready to record. And whatever happens, happens. So it's set to record. We have our playhead going. Alrighty, let's do it, shall we? We'll open up this. And um, 
you'll see when I uh, do the notes down here, it'll start, a little number will start going and that's the time it's recording. And as soon as that stops, that's when the effect takes into place. So let's do it. D, D, D. I'll show you what's going on here. We're off. Listen to that really low rumble underneath. So we're almost halfway through recording this EP. <laughs> 20 minutes. Hey, Wyak, anyone know who I have missed? Welcome along. If I've missed you, I apologize. Today we are recording an EP using six notes, one note per song, and the amazing Spacefields app. Using Neon to record, in A U M. Yeah, Russ, how much easier would it have been to do some of those new tracks on your album just using this? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> we are at 69 seconds. Uh, it counts as one note because that's what I'm inputting. An answer to your question. Whatever the app does, is up to the app. I've held my part of the bargain. I said I'm only using one note. Semantics. <laughs> oh, I love that. How sinister is that bit? Man, this app is sick. Yes, we are up to D at the moment. 95 seconds in. I'm just going to leave it a bit longer here. Because that sounds cool. Let's stop it there. I mean, you could go on forever, really, couldn't you? Alrighty, so that is that done. There is our third track. We'll double click on this. Thank you so much, David, for the kind super chat. This one turned up. I can actually put this one on the screen. There you go. Thank you so much. All right, so we need to save this. Now I know they look really they look really uh, low in um, volume, but that's good because once they get mastered, man, they're gonna they're gonna pump. The mastering is gonna bring it all to life, yeah. So uh, this is we want to save this save utensils utensils dash d d and save. So you can see down the bottom here in our media bay, this is where all these utensils are being saved. So there we go, utensils D, E, and A. So they're all in there. 
we can clear this out now new recording thank you very much and yeah they'll just be fades so i'll fade it out and i'm going to try and make them blend into each other so yeah we'll, we'll one look one of the songs might only go for a minute and a half one you know i i can choose how long i want but I think three minutes for six songs at the most you know that, what's that uh, three sixes that's 18 minute ep so cut a few minutes off here and there it'll probably be around 14 minutes for an ep Alrighty, so that's ready to go we are set now we need to introduce a new instrument so i will keep uh this channel open here and we're going to use pure synth for the next one not pure piano pure synth and wait for it to load and we're going to use a choir for this i think i think a choir would be lovely so we've got some voice and choirs we have a gregorian chant here let's take out space fields and uh, A, E, D, we want a G. And we need to add our keyboard. Maybe we'll make it a bit higher. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to bring this in here and let's find a preset because I haven't decided on a preset for this. I like the name of this one, Pattern Attractor. Let's see what this does. We'll do a quick test. What the actual hell, man? It sounds like... <laughs> yeah, it sounds like something's come from the bottom of hell. <laughs> What I'm going to do is what's cool about this, you can actually, while it's going, you can change things. Let's try this one. So what I'm going to do here is, I like this. Let's clear this. And we'll try doing this again. Yep, don't even need to think about that. That's what I want. <laughs> That's going to get more interesting as it goes on. So we'll clear that. Give it a second to die. To die! Some nice stereo panning in this one. Okie dokie. So we'll hit record. We'll hit sync on this. Record. We're ready to go. Playhead's going. Let's get this happening. G. Yeah. A, 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 E, D, G. Look at that stereo. How cool is that? Look at the difference in the two left and right tracks mean
So I haven't decided what instrument I'm going to use next. I know the last track I'm using an electric guitar with distortion. I'm going to do a, a power chord and then a harmony. And that will be the last track in E. Because we started with a guitar and I want to end with a guitar because the album cover, as you saw at the beginning, has a guitar on the front. So we want to bookend it with two guitars, acoustic and electric at the end. Everything has to have meaning in a world that has no meaning. Yeah, like I said, Sai, when I'm working, I just, all I do is load up space fields, I hit a note and just let it go. That's my, this is my relaxation music. This is what I listen to when I'm working. I find this so calming while I'm plotting murder. What was that? That was cool. Seventy five seconds. got 15 minutes to wrap up this album two more tracks can I do it thing we've stopped this we'll save it utensils and uh, G save done file saved new recording stereo track we're ready to go for the next one now I don't know what instrument we're going to use here uh, let's go through some audio unit extensions I'm going to start at the bottom and because that's how the app store works <laughs> everything from the bottom up uh something interesting synthscaper oh let's let's use a uh let's do a sax should we do a saxophone with a swarm saxophone i think so because we've already got like strings in there let's do a brass instrument um Shall we do trombone? In fact, let's go up here. Let's do a search for saxophone. And what I'm going to do to this, I'm actually going to go in here and add black hole. Just because these effects kind of can do with a bit of um, reverb on them in the first instance. We'll take out some of that. We don't need as much reverb as that. Just to give it some... <laughs> Stop! Relax! Right, let's uh, find another effect here. Neverland Space. Infinity Station. In a galaxy far away. Let's check this one out. Okay, so what are we up to? Uh, we're up to B. B! <laughs> All right. Um, what do I have to do here? I have to go. Let's 
go low. Oh, that sounded interesting. What the hell? clear that yes we are doing this one <laughs> I don't even need to hear the rest Let's sync this up, hit record, and we're already playing, so let's uh, do this, shall we? We'll just uh, bring this up here so I can see what's happening. Damn. That. So I have to hit that hard. Right. Evil. Hello, Dan. Hello, Gary Hubs. Okay, this one's cool. JDL. Thank you all for being here today. If you like, hit the like. It helps the channel. If you're new to the channel watching on the replay, please subscribe. Or don't. Totally up to you. Only subscribe if you're going to watch the content. Who would have thought this would come from a saxophone? Now we've got nine minutes. And we're nearly finished with this track. And we are playing B, the note B for this one. We're at 100 seconds, so we'll let this drop down low. All 
right, we'll stop it there. So there is our fifth track. And um, let's uh, save this to a media bay. Save utensils dash B. And we are up to our last track, folks, for this EP. We can now remove this track from here. Goodbye to you. Thank you for being here. Uh, now, this is the last track. So, I have my guitar here. Let's uh, go to this so you can see I've got my guitar. Let's just test it to see if we've got sound and all that stuff. No. We've got to bring it in. Cool. So that is what we're doing with this one. I think I already have chosen a preset for this. I've chosen Starfields. Starfields. So let's uh, start a new track in here and see where this takes us. So this is a little bit more difficult to start recording because I've got to make sure I don't hit a bad note, uh, hit a um, any of the strings because it's very sensitive. So I need to open this here, turn it up, and let's go. First go. So that was the final track, E. We have done E, A, D, G, B, E, six tracks. Almost there. Hello, Timothy. Fifteen seconds to go, and we are done.
Thank you, Cy, for putting a link. There is the link to Space Fields. Absolutely worth your time, this app. I've done a full tutorial on it, if you would like to see that. Or... Let's just wait. And that's it. Okie doke. You can watch the full tutorial, or later today I will be dropping a daily digest on this app with a, a short version of the long-form uh, tutorial of this particular app. So that'll drop later today if you want to wait for that, which just, just goes into the basics of the space fields in a maybe a 10 to 12 minute video. And then if you want to watch the full thing, which uh, Sai has kindly put in the chat, you can watch the full hour and whatever that one turned out to be because there's a lot in there but i'm going to try and do a short form one for you guys today as part of the new daily digest series so this is e we'll put this as uh e end save there are all our tracks they are all done ready to go um so what i'm also going to do is so that is the six tracks now those of you on patreon you are going to get to see this being mastered and finished on Patreon this Sunday or Saturday for you living in the past in the US and UK. I'll be mastering your tracks as usual. We'll be doing our giveaways. And then for the second half of the show, we'll master these tracks, put it all together and get it ready to upload to DistroKid. Yeah. Boom. Shugga lugga 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 lugga. And as I said at the beginning of the show, the album artwork is already finished. There it is there. So, as I said, it kicks off with, uh, there's a guitar in there because the first E is a guitar and the, and the last E is a guitar as well. So, that is it. Um, that is the album. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about utensils, because I have many utensils albums out, here is a link uh, to utensils if you want to check that out on Song Whip. Uh, utensils, every album of utensils is completely different. You'll never hear an album the same from Utensils. There's crazy jazz stuff. There's death metal stuff. Every album is completely different and made with different tools. There's an album that was made using kitchen appliances. Uh, you name it, it's there. So go and check out Utensils. That's what that's all about. It's 9 o'clock, folks. It's the end of the show. Got to head over to Thomas Christ's channel. He's going to put a link in, hopefully, to You Rock, which is kicking off in just a few seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow on the show we have... The amazing Matt Anderson. So make sure you join us. We're going to be interviewing Maffy's Garden. It's going to be a fantastic interview. We're going to listen to his music, find out all about Maffy and his great music. So join us same time, same bat channel tomorrow. And you know what? As usual, do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better. And remember, we all rise together. Thank you for joining me today and you be good. Love you all. Goodbye now. Stunning. Stunning. Stunning.